What is up guys, Nick here today, and welcome to the 19th episode of my Pure Iron Man Well Unballed. The last episode didn't hit the sub boxes, so if you aren't already, please subscribe if you enjoy the content, leave a like, hit that little notification bar down at the bottom, and we are picking up right where we left off last episode by finishing up at Gauntlet. We got the Blade of Saldor, and now we are alking all the spoils out of the bank. We're about to get a fat cash stack to start this one off. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Alright, so these are the last two room plate bodies we have, and we have a nice 24 mil cash stack just from our alkables. And we're not even done yet. I have a bunch of battle stabs in the bank that I did not make in the air battle stabs yet. Uh, 36 mil cash so far. That is really sick. That's going to help us fund 99 construction at some point. We still have 750. Holy smokes. So I guess it's time to go make these all in unpowered orbs. we got to go charge them. And I have a shit ton of uncut gems I gotta make too. Alright, that'll be the rest of the air battle stabs made. This guy looks sick as fuck in front of me. I wanna look like that except for the Sammy D high body. But 755, that's gonna alk for another 7 mil on top of our 36. Good lord. And this is just gonna slide into us getting 90 crafting. Another base 90 stat down. We are starting to close in on being completely 90 based except for prayer and, you know, defense. And attack. We're not getting a 90 attack. Alright guys, it is time that we go for the Dragon Warhammer. I finally got this method set up. This is a method created by a guy, Beluga Gold. So shout out to him. I'll leave this guide in the description of this video. That way, uh, you guys can also follow along if you're going to try to go for a Dragon Warhammer on your pure iron, pure just in general. This is the best way to do it. So, having a crystal bow, you need two alt accounts to do this as well. And that one over there is being stalled by a red click option. So, it can't move because you're stalled out. So, a uh, really sick method. Shout out to Beluga. It's really ingenious. And we're going to sit here until we get the Dragon Warhammer. I don't know how long it's going to take. It took me over 7,000 kills on my old Iron Man account you see over there in the top right. So... I'm prepared to be here for a couple weeks, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we don't get too many long bones, curved bones, and other troll drops, and we just uh, get it done early. So, I guess we'll see. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dude, just seeing that color in a different text color just fucked me up, Jesus. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> You little bastard, you. <laughs> Dude, what? That was like five kills after the last long bone. What the hell? Oh, no. This this could get ugly, boys. This could get ugly. <laughs> Dude, 200 kill count, and we've gotten three long bones. <laughs> like what the hell kind of a whack first trip not gonna lie damn all right well 200 kc it's, this is going great not gonna lie i'm kind of really liking this method Oh my god, dude, what? We're done already? We just we just got here. Dude, this is our first trip. Dude, I'm picking that up. There's no way I'm li Nah, dude, we're 201 kill count. Dude, I just learned how to set this shit. Alright, whatever. You know what? I'm never ever gonna bitch and complain. Are you kidding me? I I don't even know what to say. Like, sorry to everybody who isn't spooned. What is happening? Like, dude, we went 1k kills for our Toxic Blowpipe, or 974, whatever. We got the, <laughs> we got the Enhanced Seed, like, three days later, and now, I don't know, two days later, we just got the Dragon Warhammer? What the fuck? 201 KC. We got three sets of Long Bones. I, we're the spoon now, I guess. I mean, that just saves us weeks and weeks of content from doing this nonstop. I'll show you. 201 KC, man. Oh my god. If you guys don't leave a like on this one, sub for all the future. Tob, Cox, all the good shit. So, I don't even know what to say about our RNG right now. Uh, it's kind of processed a little bit that I just accomplished some extremely long-term goals in about, I don't know, T-minus seven days or so. 
We got the Blade of Seldor. We just got the Dragon Warhammer on 201 KC. I prepped so much shit for this because I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're probably going to be here for like three to 4,000 kills. I made 41,000 cannonballs that like, what the fuck are we doing with these? So I think Elder Chaos Druids for the robes is definitely an attainable goal. And it's probably something I'll do here shortly. I think I'm going to get a herb sack before I go and do that. So that's going to suck. I mean, I guess I have to go back to Tithe Farm for that. It's not, I mean, that's going to be so many herbs if we go for that full set. So I feel like that's worth it in the end. I really want to get 90 herb. As you guys know, I'm a skiller at heart. So we were pretty close to accomplishing a couple skilling goals. But I mean, raids are basically here. I need to get 75 attack. I still want to go to revs and see if I can somehow spoon. I mean, look at our RNG right now. If I can spoon a mace or crawls or some stupid shit before we really get the scout up in combat levels, that would be sick. Because once we get up into like the mid 80s, low 90s, we're pretty much effed. Like every med and low level main can get on us in revs, so that kind of chalks it. And I really want to get the ancient crystal uh, to round out our last one. That's going to give us the chance to make the obelisk inside of our house. When we have that made, I can literally teleport anywhere I want in the wilderness from the comfort of my own home. Uh, that's going to help with all of these hard clue scrolls that we're going to get. We have 24 dark totems. Like, I've done this account completely backwards. Who the fuck grinds this far just for shit like that, just to do hard clues? Just go get a damn obelisk in your house from <laughs> the damn ancient crystals. But whatever. Ramble clip done. Let's uh, get on to the progress with all that shit. Okay, six U seeds. All right. Uh, I guess we should probably end this trip now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually you get a good amount from there. Mammoths are, like, the best task. I mean, you've done Wildy Sire before, you know. They're better now than they were. Yeah. I just got a statuette. We take those. We take those. <laughs> that's our fourth ancient crystal in less than t basically 2,000 revs on the dot are you kidding me bro it's like a one in close to 2,000 drop rate for one. Oh my god see sometimes it's nice just to be unlucky because then people are like oh yeah don't worry your RNG will come your way and then when it comes your way everybody's gonna be like you fucking loser like you keep getting all this good shit <laughs> Ancient Crystal Boys, we can now make the Ancient Obelisk inside our house. We can teleport to any of the obelisks in the wilderness. Nice and safe, not having to get teleported all over the fucking place. Oh, that's so nice, man. Alright, so I figured I'd throw this in here. I wanted to stay until I got a clean 1000 rev demon drop log or whatever on Runelight. So, I'm going to throw that on the right side of the screen. We are also 80 combat now, so I think it's time that we clean up the account a little bit. We're going to leave 51 prayer, we're going to get the 55, and I think it's time that we settle down, we go to some ammonite crabs, and we get 75 attack. Before we go and do any of that, we might as well just make the obelisk now. Figured unless we actually show it and make it, that it even happen. Oh my god, that's going to be so nice for a wildy slayer, and basically anything in the wildy in general. God, you'll love to see it. It's so beautiful, bro, it's so beautiful. It's going to make hard clues a fucking breeze. Right, these are the last three bones, I believe. Oh, one more. There we go. 55 prayer is done. We can use preserve, and it's a lot cleaner looking than 51. That shit was fucked. And it's about time we enjoy the whip for a little bit before we never use this thing again. So there, oh my god, a three? Come on, there we go. 70 attack. Let's toss this thing on. Oh my god, dude, did you see that? It just defaulted to lash. What was that? Oh my god. Alright, well after suffering from PTSD by, you know, afraid this whip was just going to turn on Lash or some dumb shit somewhere. Uh, we now have 75 attack. We can use the Blade of Saldor. That is going to be our best in slot slash weapon until a scythe. So, it's going to help a ton when we start doing Tob at Chambers of Xerix as well. 
Uh, we'll have to go and get a bludgeon at some point. That's going to help immensely. But we're going to save that for another time. For the time being, we need to try to get the strength up a little bit. We kind of look like a fucking goofball with 75 attack and 82 strength. I'm not going to lie. Total froob. Gentlemen, we are now in the end game of the account. We officially have 75 attack now. We can use the Blade of Saldor that we got last episode. We recolored it to black to match the armor. One thing we are missing is the recolored Slayer Helmet. We are now at a fun part of the account where we can start going for completionist stuff. You guys know that I've been skilling quite a bit in this series. 2k total is definitely going to be a priority for me. But getting the recolors for all the Slayer Helmets has been one of the goals since I started this account. One of the ones we're going to start with is Scotizo in the next episode. We have 24 stocked up Dark Totems. I saved all of these from our grind getting up to 87 Slayer. And we can now make the Arc Light now that we are 75 attack. I have 40 mil cash. I recently cut over 15,000 mahogany logs. We're still about 3,000 short of having 95 construction banked. Why would we bank 95 construction? I don't know. But whenever I've been doing schoolwork or paperwork at work, I've been on mobile cutting them just so we can get up to 90 to finish off base 90s on the far right side. After that, kind of our goal, that's our skill and grind goal for the time being. I want to go to Dagonos to get our Archer's Ring. We still don't have that. With the DWH, we can do raids whenever. I think it would be easier if I go and get the Archer's Ring now. We still have yet to do any Ceridome and God Wars. And I have to quest to get the Thralls unlocked. I still do not have them. That is a Kingdom Divided quest. We have not done that or any of the Precursor quests for that either. So, we're going to do a shit ton of Clue Scrolls starting off on the next episode. We're going to be doing all of our Dark Totems. We are in for some fun content here. It has been a long time coming. I appreciate all you guys sticking around in the series, watching from the beginning, watching now. I really appreciate all the support. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. For the time being, let's go jam out to some Forlorn Homestead. I'll see you later, boys. Have a good one.